Hi, just a, a quick video this evening um, on Chemex coffee jugs. Um, I've done a video before um, really giving a review of the um, one to three cup model here. Um, I think I did a sort of how to on that one. Um, great little system. Um, look back at my videos. Um, I think it's a fantastic way of making coffee, really nice coffee, stylish design. Um, I think sort of harking back to the late 60s, something that Ian Fleming had James Bond drinking out of in his, uh, in his novels. Um, really good system. I think the, the one thing that I, I wanted to sort of go over this in this video is the sort of sizing, the product range. And I've pretty much got a whole basic range here now, I think, um, except for the very large sort of 8 to 10 cup. Uh, model, um, but I just thought it was worth reflecting on sort of what size you might choose to use because this one to three cu cup uh, model um, great for a single good sized mug of black coffee, um, but if there's two of us, it's it's really not much use. So that's something which I, I found a bit sort of misleading with the uh, one to three sort of um, branding of this. So I thought let's open up the others because. And that's why I've bought them really. That's not really good enough for, for two people or more. Um, and I just wanted to compare the size with what they call, I think, the three to six cup and the, I think, probably four to eight cup or six to eight cup. I'm not quite sure how they, how they name it. But you know, I thought I'd do a little unboxing, have a look at the comparative sizes. Um, why I've got all these here is um, really one of these is going to be a present for my parents. Um, going to see them on Boxing Day tomorrow. Um, they're cool, which are ones more useful to them, and uh, I'll keep the other one for us at home. So there's your one to three cup. And let's have a look what's in here. Um, so let's start off with the six six cup model. There, um, looking at the box here, you've got a nice image of how it might be made. Um, that's their stove top glass kettle. Um, not something that I, I'll probably be indulging in, but a lovely bit of design as well. Um, nothing on the back and on the other side there. You've got some words about what the Chemex is about. Um, oh, since 1941, Chemex has been brewing the best filtered coffee imaginable through a perfect blend of art and science. Unique properties are pure glass carafe. Ensure the natural flavour of your chosen coffee beans and nothing else. Together with the scientifically designed patented Chemex bonded filters, and that's really truly what, what does give it the great flavour. Um, our pour over brewing process delivers a perfect cup of coffee without any sediments uh, or bitter elements. And just some stuff down there. So let's, let's open it up and have a comparative look at the size. I don't think there's anything much in the box apart from packing cardboard. Yep, okay, so here's your six cup. Got a little instructional brochure there um, with the other part, other um, things in the product range and a step by step very simple to use, not really worth dwelling on that. Okay, so that's the, the six cup. Already you can see there's a fair bit um, more capacity, but the, the point of capacity is it only goes up to that, that little stud there, the little nipple, likewise there. Because if you go up any higher than that, um, the paper filter will start dipping into your coffee and it won't, won't filter as well so it might look big but that's that's the level of coffee you get so you can see it's called a six cup but I'd say that was a two or a push three good mugs and that, that's really the point of the video here so let's open up the the eight cup Again bigger, but in terms of volume, not hugely different. So maybe four decent mugs. 
So as I say, this is this is over to my parents really between them to decide what what size best suits them. Um, but really, just for you at home, I think the point I'm proving is, or trying to demonstrate, is that you need to be quite careful about which size you go for because the capacity is actually quite low. Now I've bought these new pre-folded filters here. Um, I haven't used these before. Previous I've used these sort of ones you fold yourself. Let's just try one of those out. Let's see. How that works. Okay, so it says it's pre-folded but actually it's it's just a circle which is folded into quarters which is what you need and if you follow the instructions what you do is basically fold the thick side down which will help form your spout and then pop that into your into your jug so actually looking how that hangs in there there probably is a bit more capacity in it than up to there but in these ones, the smaller ones, the uh, the filter does hang down quite low. Again, in there, yeah, you can probably push up the capacity a bit further. So maybe the there is a benefit to the pre-folded filters. Okay, well, just for something to to ponder, um, one thing I also got is actually a Christmas present for my wife to me. Um, is the Chemex coffee mug. So let's just move these guys back a bit and take a look at that. I'll do a full video of this one but just to let you see what what that's about. I think that's a really a, attractive design there. Um, I'm interested to see how it works because I've got a feeling that sort of if you've ever drunk a, a yard of ale or something like that when you get to the sort of the bubble bit, you suddenly get a blast in the blast in your face with all the liquid. So I'm wondering whether you can get that as you drink that, as you just go over that lip there for the last bit. Um, but we'll see. It's certainly a very nice bit of design. Okay, well, hopefully that's of some use to you. Um, really, the intention was to show a comparison side by side of the different uh, sizes and just contemplate really how many cups you can get out of them. Um, hope that's useful. Have a great Christmas and a Happy New Year, and uh, I'll pick up with some new reviews shortly. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.